All right, so let me show you what you should be looking for and what the dentist should be providing when you are coming for a safe mercury removal filling. The first thing that we do is we are actually working in a closed room. So we can close the door and we can close in all of that mercury from the rest of the system, from the rest of the office. Inside of the room, we have a lot of things to protect the patient and those that are working in the room. So let me walk you through what we do. The first thing that we do is we have the patient start by rinsing with some activated charcoal. Now, what is activated charcoal gonna do? It's going to basically inactivate the mercury and it's going to make it so the mouth is coated with this so that if there is any mercury exposure it's going to help it not get into the system basically inactivate it now the doctor wears a special mercury filtration mask so i absolutely would never remove a mercury filling as a dentist without wearing this mask we use it with a regular mask underneath so we have a couple layers of protection for us all right, as a patient, what are you gonna have? We have some coverings that we're going to use. So mercury can be absorbed through the skin. We wanna make sure that you're not going to get any of that. The mercury vapor is gonna be coming up right in your face. So this is going to go over the face. There's also a covering that goes over your body. So this is gonna go all the way up as high as we can get. It's gonna cover over everything. You're also gonna have a special nose that's gonna deliver oxygen to your nose but also make it so the vapors aren't getting in your nose while they're being removed. We always are going to use what's called a rubber dam. What this is, is it's a special material. We punch a hole in this and the tooth that we're working on is through the hole and the rest of the mouth is dammed or blocked from getting any of that mercury. So this vacuum goes right underneath the chin. It's going to pull fumes and vapors and particles towards the vacuum. So that's going to get the large bulk of vapors and small particles. In the mouth, there's two other things we use. So we use what's called a large volume suction. This is going to go right up next to the tooth. So again, inside of that rubber dam, the tooth is sticking out. We're gonna put it right up next to the tooth as we are drilling on it. So any large chunks are gonna go right into this vacuum and get caught here. We're also gonna use a small vacuum underneath that rubber dam. That's gonna get anything that might sneak by. So three different vacuum sources should be used. After the procedure, we give a rinse again of charcoal and chlorella. And what that's going to do is bind anything that got away from any of our capturing devices. You're gonna rinse, 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 and then spit it out to make sure that none of it gets into the system or as little as possible. Even with all of these precautions, you're going to get some mercury into the system. So what do we do about that? Well, we provide a mercury detox system that you do along with the procedure. We have you start it at least a couple of days ahead of time, basically dampen the effect that the mercury can have on the system, a grabber and a dumper. You want that on board and you wanna continue that for about three weeks after the end of the removal. Because no matter what we do, even with all these precautions, you're still gonna get a little bit into your system when it's removed. And this is something interesting because I tell people this all the time. I would actually prefer you leave a mercury filling in your mouth than have it removed unsafely. Because if you have it removed unsafely, what you're going to do is all of that mercury is now just gonna to move to a new neighborhood in your body. It's gonna now go to your gut or your brain or your nerves and it's gonna cause all sorts of havoc in a large dose. Whereas when it's in your mouth and you're chewing with it, it's releasing mercury in a small dose. But the small dose is better than the large dose if you don't have a choice. The better solution, obviously, is to find a dentist that can use these smart removal techniques and remove it safely, and then to detox so that you can make sure that everything exits the body.